Here are T-Cell C-Star 1000 Paramedic 80 and Squale 20 Atmos Classic 1545. Both watches have disassembled to compare their power source, the mainspring. First of all, there is a clear difference in the length of the mainsprings. Uh, the Paramedic 80 almost seems twice the length of Squale's. You might have also noticed that the T-Cell's mainspring is much thinner, therefore the tension of the spring is weaker. Personally, Squale 1545 felt three times more powerful in terms of the spring tension. Let's design a simple experiment. Barrels will swap before reassembling the watches. Fortunately, they're both working. But are they functioning properly? The two Franken watches were fully wound before recording errors every hour as well as timing the power reserve. Depending on the conditions of watches, such as amount of spring is wound up and the position of the watch, the result could slightly vary from mine. The C-Star is hardly a proper watch now. The second hand is extremely rushed while maintaining the motion of 3 hertz movement. There are plus 3 minute errors per hour, in other words a daily error of more than 70 minutes. After 26 hours as the main spring was wound, the C-Star gradually returned to normal. Now the power reserve. The minute hand turned 41 times but considering the daily error of more than an hour, the real operating time was probably around 39 hours. In other words, the movement now has about a 41 hour power reserve although it is really 39 hours when adjusted with actual time. Next up, the Squale 1545 with a herd of 80 hour and a brain of 4 hertz. It was a surprising result. Based on the outcome of the C Star 1000, it was presumed that the Squale would present consistent accuracy when fully wound, then the error would gradually increase as the tension of the spring decreases. The power reserve was expected to be less as well. Remarkably, it worked for 79 hours with a 30 second error a day. I thought the outcome was faulty from a mistake, however, the result was the same even after multiple trials. The most impressive part was that it showed a plus minus 24 seconds per day rate of accuracy up to 24 hours. Then the error slightly increased to 3 seconds per hour just before the watch stopped. Keeping a great daily rate is very challenging, especially when the main screen loosens up. The Squale works fine without any issue as if the swap mainspring barrel was its own in the first place. There are many watch companies under the umbrella of the Swatch Group. Many manufacturers of horology related products are also a part of the group, and ETA, the leading representative of the third party movement, is one of the members. When the Powermatic 80 was introduced in Battle War 2012, it seemed identical to the ETA 2824 caliber yet it was hiding a magical mainspring. It worked perfectly well with 4Hz movement. Perhaps the 3Hz movement was first produced since stability is very important for a new caliber. Should Tissot be considering launching a 4Hz powermatic movement? Thank you. The Powermatic 80 has weaker spring tension compared to the others in general. Therefore, over 40 turns of hand winding were necessary to start the 4Hz engine. It only took 7 turns in its original 3Hz movement. What would be the secret behind functioning well on their relatively weak spring? Maybe the pallet fork and the escape wheel are made of special composite material that is designed to work under less force. This could be our next experiment.